Om lead us down, O God, from unreal to the real, from darkness to light, from death to immortality. Om Shanti 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 Aryo Namaste. Hi, welcome to Yoga for Health, Happiness and Liberation. I'm Mita Gajar and this is my father Barak Gajar. During these programs we hope to introduce you to the fundamentals of yoga. Today we'd like to dedicate this program to, to the memory of His Holiness Swami Vishnu Devananda. Uh, Swami Vishnu Devananda passed away on November 9th, 1993. He was a disciple of uh, Swami Shivananda and uh, Swami Vishnu uh, came to United States. Uh, Swami Vishnu, this is him, came to United States early 60s and for the first time he introduced yoga and he made the yoga uh, a, a, a household word uh, because a lot of people do not know him but what uh, he did he started teaching teachers training course in yoga and he, he trained thousands of yoga teachers and they are teaching yoga in the West around the world. So this is very special and now every home, everybody knows yoga. That is Hatha Yoga exercise. <coughs> and then, <clears throat> as you all know, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi brought the meditation, made it very popular. So Swami Vishnu Devananda Maharaj <coughs> made the yoga and brought the yoga. He was a great author, great yogi. He passed away on November 9th, 1993. And he wrote, uh, wrote a book, illustrated book of yoga. It is like a Bible. Everybody uh, uh, who practice yoga should read that book. <coughs> so now, uh, Mita, we are going to talk about sun prayer again, the basic message and then we will go ahead and demonstrate the 12 steps of sun prayer is called uh, uh, Surya Namaskar is a Sanskrit word. There's 12 reasons to memorize. There's 12 meanings for the sun prayer as there's 12 steps to the sun prayer. Um, sun represents your own soul. Sun prayer is a prayer to the sun, <coughs> appreciating all the Lord's sun gives for our health, our material things, and happiness. It's a prayer of thanks. Gives you, it gives you a point of concentration. It teaches you to see these qualities in other human beings. You don't hate ignorance and darkness, but come out of it or reach out as a light wherever you can. Soul has all the mentioned qualities. Thinking about sun harmony in your mind to travel in the depth of meaningful concept for your mind to grow and be positive. Teach, teaches you to be in tune with light everywhere like the sunlight comes 
out of every corner of the world. In prayer, you drop yourself, attachment, and try to attach yourself to wisdom and knowledge in other human beings or source. It is a good beginning not always to see negative and be lazy and hate the whole world. So let's <coughs> do the 12 steps of sun prayer. So Mita is going to demonstrate. <coughs> Step number one is sun prayer is a salutation. Number two, inhale, go back, and exhale as you bend forward. That's three, four, right leg back, look up, inhale, and then five, hold the breath. Five, six, everything is down except your bottom. And seven, cobra, inhale, seven, eight, inverted V, push your heels down, push your head down. And then nine, <coughs> inhale, and then tell, ten, exhale, ten. And then uh, eleven, go back. And 12. There are 12 steps to sun prayer. Now first time she took left, right leg back, next time the left leg back. So this is called sun prayer, uh, Surya Namaskar. Now <coughs> we will uh, going to show you uh, the uh, shoulder stand. So this is very important posture. So Mita is going to demonstrate to you the shoulder stand. So she will lie down and then watch her leg, legs go up, push all the way up, okay? And then she will go in the plow posture. That's the next posture, plow. And this is called plow posture. Now she will go back to the shoulder stand. Okay. <clears throat> and she will come down as a bridge. This is a very nice posture. And straighten out your legs together. Legs together. And beautiful. This is called bridge posture. It's a very beautiful posture. It's excellent for your spine. And it is very wonderful to do every day. This is one of the most important postures in Hatha Yoga. There are 48,000, now you see you go back from that and then go back to shoulder plow posture and then you come down. This is another way of coming down. Okay, <clears throat> now what I will do is to show you that uh, you can also go into lotus posture. You see, if you really see both legs, you have to, you can bring them in without touching the legs and then you can sit down. The same kind of lotus posture, this is called lotus posture, where you take both the feet in, in the lotus, in, in the shoulder stand. So I will show you. And then you come down, vertebra, So this is also a Can I tell them how old you are? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> can I? You can. He's 62 years old. If he can do that at 62 years old, we should be able to do it. Yes. Thank you. Well, listen, this is a shoulder stand. Now, would you read, Mita, what are the things to remember uh, during the posture? Now, you see, postures, yoga postures are prayer to God with your body. So, you are, it becomes a prayer. It becomes, now, if you do not believe in God, it's still okay. You do not have to believe in God. 
But if you do, it's wonderful to do that. <laughs> okay. Remember, during postures, which are called asanas, before starting postures, chant Om three times and do a prayer. Make sure your body is relaxed. Do pranayama, or yogic breathing, and stretch only during exhalation. Remember, postures are a prayer to God with your body. Keep that feeling. Do each posture at least three times and keep the posture as long as you can. Focus on your body or internal organ or chant a mantra. Do postures slowly without jerky motions. Do, do postures like meditation. Be mindful. Work with pain and stay within your limits. Do not compete with anyone. Keep safety in mind and avoid sharp pains. If possible, do postures religiously, daily, and at the same time and same place. Develop your routine. Some asana you might do once a week and some others once a month. It helps asanas if, you, if one does yogic breathing, which is called pranayama, before starting postures. As a general rule, during most of the asana, when the stomach closes or contracts, you should exhale, and when your stomach opens or expands, you inhale. Thank you, Mita. Now, you hear this sound, uh, is, they are mantras. It is being recited by our Guru, Swami Vishnu Devananda. He is my Guru and it's also Mita's. He taught us the basic yoga and we also go and teach others. So, thousands of, thousands of his disciples teaching yoga around the world. Now, yoga, you do not have to be Hindu or any other religion. Any person who wants to do Hatha Yoga can do it without any kind of attachment. But important things are, it has to be done with pranayama, proper breathing. It's very important that you do it with the breathing, like we did shoulder stand, when you raise the legs up, and then you inhale and exhale uh, with the posture. So it's very important that you do uh, this Hatha Yoga. Hatha means exercise, okay? Hatha Yoga. Uh, the word Hatha is sun and the moon. So yogi believes that there is a, a universe within yourself. So uh, it, you are working with this prana and bringing the body. So this way you relax as you do your postures. Again, it's very important that you do it slowly. Don't very jerky motion. You do not use the jerky motion. Just relax and do it slowly. As uh, Samhita will uh, show you another uh, one of the postures very slowly. You can go into one of the postures. Um, you can go in the split uh, again. Uh, but watch her how she does very slowly. And it is very important that you stretch your body. And the stretching brings in Namaste. So once you do it, say thank you, Lord, for uh, having this opportunity to have my body, and I'm doing this posture. So it's very, very nice to do that. So I will highly recommend that you do asana, this is asana, postures, at least 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, and both ways. If you do one side, you have to do the other side. And stretching, and namaste.
Thank you. Okay. Now I just want to briefly tell you that there are many types of yoga. I told you Hatha Yoga. It's only one of the yogas. There are many types of yoga. First is called Gnana Yoga, yoga of knowledge. Another one is Mantra Yoga, yoga of uh, uh, mantras. And then Bhakti Yoga, yoga of devotion. And Raja Yoga, yoga of uh, third dimension, uh, meditation, is part of the Raja Yoga. And then Karma Yoga is a service, yoga through service. But Hatha Yoga is a yoga of doing asana as you are doing posture, stretching exercise. In the West they call it stretching exercise. But there are, as I mentioned to you, many, many e e postures, but we, we have picked out about 40 to 50 postures uh, which we teach uh, in our classes when we teach uh, Hatha Yoga. Now, certain uh, asanas you should do every day and then you keep adding certain. At the same time, if your body needs certain postures, you bring those postures also. Now, one of the things will happen as you get older that you lose control over your, uh, you lose control on the legs. So one of the things that you will see is uh, uh, just relax your legs, allow it to relax, and then uh, watch my toes. You, you can give a, a exercise to the toes. Out, in, out, out. Just stretch, stretch your ankles, and it gives a tremendous uh, uh, stretching exercise and make your uh, legs. Again, as I show you, you can bring them in, and, and bring, that gives you the control. Because as you get older, the legs will not uh, cooperate. And at the same time, as I mentioned to you, that you can go into posture. This is called lotus posture. Okay? So these are the things. Hatha Yoga, we highly recommend that you do few, at least 10 minutes, if not 20, 20 minutes a day. Okay. We are going to show the prana, uh, pranayama, which we have done, kapalabhati. So, Mita, let's do the kapalabhati. Three ways of sitting kapalabhati. One is on your knees, vajrasan. This is called vajrasan. Okay, next way of sitting is uh, show them easy posture. This is called sukhasan. This is another way you can do pranayama. And third way is to lotus posture, where you are completely uh, do the lotus posture, okay? But today she, uh, she will do the uh, kapalabhati, a cleansing breath on her uh, knees. is called vajrasan. Okay. When I was count again, as you will remember last time, one, you excel forcefully, uh, at that time stomach goes in and then uh, don't try to inhale, it will be automatically you will inhale. Okay, so let's uh, do it 12 times. One, two, 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 one, to 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 one. That was thirty-six times. You can count thirty-six times. Three rounds. One round means twelve times. You do thirty-six times. And that is excellent for your, it opens up all your sinuses and it's very good, you feel good and you will have fewer colds. So this is called a cleansing breath, Kapalabhadi. So I, we highly recommend that first you start with Pranayama, Kapalabhadi, and uh, eventually we will take the healing breath uh, that will come next, it is, uh, we will uh, introduce that. Also, 
as I mentioned to you, that if you have a guru like uh, we have, it helps you to do yoga pra regularly because they recommend you do it regularly, hatha yoga. Okay, so this is. <coughs> Now, let's just say Hatha Yoga, what does it uh, mean? It, it relates to the body. Hatha Yoga is relates to the body. It, it means discipline. You do regularly. Every morning, suppose you decide, I'm going to do it right after I take a shower. So, it's good to take a hot shower and then do uh, Yoga Asana, because that time, the hot shower makes your body more limber, and you do Hatha Yoga, your body becomes uh, further limber, so uh, flexible. Uh, again, it, it means positive thinking. Yoga means positive thinking, and also it means life realization. You understand that this life is very important, and, and we are this body where God lives in our body,